What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate and we are back with another one. That's right, I'm talking about the top 10 After Effects techniques because you guys are so freaking talented. Now, if this is your first time watching, you're gonna wanna stick around because we're gonna be going over all kinds of cool, crazy techniques just coming out from the community. And hopefully you're gonna be able to take some inspiration into projects of your own. And who knows, maybe even next time you're gonna see yourself in one of these videos. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be pulling up. I got the phone right here. No uh, no sponsors from Samsung, but that'd be super dope. You know, you guys got a new phone coming out. Hit your boy up. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's get into these cool techniques. So the first one we got is from Split Second Studio, and this is No Snakes, Just Ladders. It's really cool how he's able to use these stacking lines of text, just animating on hard cutting. And that actually has so much impact to it to where even when he translates this over to the individual text layers adding up. It's really cool motion graphics on a shirt. I love how the letters are even animating on and off. It's really simple animations, but I think just the cleanness is what makes it look so good. <laughs> love how he even gave out a breakdown of how this one was made showing both the timeline and all the audio is just well cut into there that's one of the best things I can even say working on something like a commercial or something short it's really powerful to have it working without audio but even better when you can add all these cool sound effects to just draw on the viewers that was at least one of the things I really love on top of that we also have this really cool motion graphics where we have a little bit of tracking in there uh, to stabilize the footage and then we have the no snakes kind of wrapping around the shirt and the clothes i wonder if this guy used any plugins to to get this effect in there maybe like i'm looking at lockdown or i know it's not an after effects technique but i'm pretty sure that's like a smoke grenade one of my favorite things just to do in video just because smoke looks super cool it's just one of those really nice motion things really clean work i love it a lot i hope to see more Whoosh. Okay, so this next technique apparently took 100 plus hours to make. It's actually from someone who says he's pretty new at this, Grand Berta. <laughs> Yo, this is so cool. Okay, I think you guys already know I got a soft spot in my heart for anything that's like game related. And to see someone being able to make it look like he's playing this kind of retro Galaga-esque video game on a building <laughs> at night and then using like the different lights from the windows to be playing this game. That's just such a super clever and creative concept. I just love the way that this all came out together with the, the camera motion and it's just really well framed, well directed. I'm even wondering if this is all done with maybe like a green screen and he's not even there, if this is just all tracked and post to kind of make things like that easier. But yeah, this is so clean. It Holy sh Yo, I, I think the top comment honestly says it best. You know, this is so fucking clean and nothing in it looks unrealistic so <laughs> i really love the camera motion it looks a little bit like added in post just to make those uh, effects come all together really clean work doing the compositing also just love the fact they were able to make something that feels like a game animation and ui out of windows it's super crazy and creative really love your work grand berta hope to see more all right on to the next one so this next one comes from ophir shoham I hope I'm saying that right. It pretty much looks like a really cool glowing dance edit. I know that we've talked about how to make an effect like this on the channel, but one of the things that I really wanna point out in this work is just the level of detail in the animations is so cool. I love the flourishes, I love the light trails, but even one of the things that really makes an effect like this stand out is just the creativity of the artist who's making the stuff. So to have this little cello playing or to have like all these different little points that accent the movement, so awesome to look at. It really adds like a whole nother element to a video that you know maybe I might not have watched as long or maybe the dance moves might not have hit as much without these little effects. So it's really cool when I can see an editor that amplifies not just the content that they're editing but is also able to add like their own little personal touch with the work so really really cool to see this Ophir Sham. I also want to be able to show you guys all the super dope work from Blotter Media if you guys haven't checked that out. He's also like super sick with a bunch of glowing edits. I think one of the things that makes After Effects really cool with working with glowing edits I know that you can do this and probably like a few other programs at least uh, on the phone you can do something like this with Flip a Clip except you're not going to get those glowing light effects and that's really something that 
just brings the effect in home and just adds like this whole another level of dimensionality to it. So huge, huge props to you for, for coming up with really sick stuff. Dude, oh my goodness, the laser's like shooting out of his eyes. That is so cool. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't even watch MMA that much, but I could watch this MMA loop of this glowing line edit like all day long. It's, it's super cool. Makes me feel like I'm watching something like Scott Pilgrim or even some of the super old uh, movies like Space Jam where, you know, these cool light effects and animations are being added and into footage. So really dope work, Ophir Sham. I also wanted to shout out this other one with the skateboard. Holy crap, dude. The tracking of it. I wonder if he even tracked like the camera at all, or if he just did this frame by frame, like, you, you know, following the camera movement of the skateboard. Really sick work. <laughs> You guys are interested in learning how to do an effect like this you can go ahead and check out uh, the tutorials on the channel it is a part one and part two tutorial so yeah be in for a wild ride <laughs> okay so this one it, it made me smile it's emojis <laughs> so i think it's kind of cool how who is this by what the fuck yo this is by ellie brow too oh my goodness yo ellie brow just has a whole bunch of cool simple work and again it's stuff that like off the bat you look at it and you might be like okay this isn't like too difficult to make what's so crazy about this and yet, the more I stare at this, the more I watch it, the more intricate details I'm noticing from the 3D motion of the swings, the pendulum effect, the animations, the faces changing from expressions, the looping quality of it. These are all things that off the bat aren't going to be super obvious and noticeable, but as you begin to watch it more and more, it's things I just love and appreciate. It's so simple, even the color palette down to the blue background, the yellow emojis, the yellow swing, and then the 3D shading of the swings as well. Oh shoot, okay, so someone actually asked, did he make this in 3D space? And he said, yep, because trying to do in 2D, the swings just did not look right. Oh my goodness, and he has a breakdown of the process. Ah, so this is really made with a few pre-comps, especially with like the swinging seat and pre-comping it. Pretty clever setup actually. And then being able to duplicate that over and over again, so that's how we get this multiple seat settings and then you can actually pre-comp the emojis together too and then vary the timing i wonder if that's what he did oh but then getting the infinite loop yeah shoot <laughs> So yeah, he said basically it was just a bunch of trial and error. Dude, kudos for, for doing it. I know not a lot of people may appreciate it when they first see it, but it's something I feel like every motion designer and animator is going to appreciate. So huge props, LA Brow or LeBrow or however you say your name. I'm sorry for butchering it, but I'm not sorry for giving you huge props because your work is super dope. <laughs> All right. So next up we have OEJ. I hope I'm saying your name right. I think it's OEJ. <laughs> this is a Logic No Pressure album cover animated, which I've seen the album. I listened to it a little bit and I've also seen a few animated versions of the cover, but this one by far has to be the best one that I saw. Now, if you guys are wondering how would he make something like a static image, an album art cover, into something that's moving and has all these cool effects and maybe like a slight camera motion in and out. And then uh, like even the chair is rotating and logic is like floating in the air. Well, all of those things would have been done in Photoshop to where he actually cut out every single little element that he was gonna animate and made them their own layer. That way he can bring them back into After Effects and animate them individually. Sometimes he's probably gonna see areas in which maybe the overlapping areas that you don't get, like maybe the, the chair legs or different parts of the textures here and there he's gonna actually have to fill them in by himself which i just thought was super impressive to do because that's just a whole nother level of detail and attention to it that i know takes a lot of time especially for something like a really short animation so huge kudos to oej for taking the time into that and making something that looks like honestly probably my favorite animated album artwork so far shoot i feel like i'm gonna start seeing a lot more animated artworks especially since there's a lot more creatives using after effects and we're also seeing a means for it on stuff like instagram and even youtube you know sometimes they'll animate the artwork and put music behind it just because as this whole another level to depth that you don't really get when you just see a static image you know <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool to actually see this finally in motion huge huge props hope to see more of your work oej all right on to the next one do you guys are you guys seeing this this is so insane so this one is from josh and around 22 i don't know if this means that he's 22 years old or if his name is josh but i'm just gonna assume those two things <laughs> 
Off the bat, when I first saw this, I was just immediately thinking Naruto, like when he's got, you know, all these different clones doing all these things and playing with each other and all these cool aerials. But for this guy to be able to do this with, uh, it looks like maybe just a camera, a tripod and some really, really great planning in terms of like the blocking out of where he's gonna be and making it just so dynamic and fun. This is really awesome. And is this looping? Like I can't even tell. Am I watching a loop? Holy shit. And I think I'm watching a loop, right? Yo. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yo, this is so cool. Yeah, so he says this was a fun rotoscoping project, which I think most people can agree, rotoscoping most of the time is not fun at all. But something about this just has so much energy and life into it. And I think it's probably the fact that this guy actually has some pretty cool skills when it comes to doing kind of parkour stuff in the woods. <laughs> I can only imagine like how much time it may have even taken just to get like the overlapping right and the shadows and everything is just coming out so clean. Yo, he also has a tutorial. I took a quick look at the tutorial for this. I, I think he was just joking around with it because I don't think he really shows After Effects that much, but if you guys are interested in doing something like rotoscoping, there are plenty of tutorials out there. Talk a little bit about rotoscoping in the lightsaber tutorial. I didn't want to make it into like this whole big deal, but I think this mirror effect is coming back and a lot of people are probably interested in doing it. So who knows? Maybe that's going to be coming pretty soon. <laughs> I still got the green screen tutorial to get to, so... Yeah, I know that there's, there's a lot. Yeah, okay, so next up we have Kevin Burke who has this really clever VFX. It kind of reminds me of Zach King in that it has like this really cool tracking effect with maybe a match cut or just like a little bit of masking in there to pull this effect all together so well. It, it's really well thought out and I wanted you guys to notice how he not only uses this tracking shot of what would have been like the blender already on his countertop and then he uses probably a plate to take that out and then match cut it when he does this. But if you look at in the beginning when he takes the frame off of the wall, you're gonna see this really, really subtle reflections going on on this glass pane here. And I thought that one was like really, really cool because I've seen people do an effect like this before, but to nail down those reflections, have to have taken creative planning to make this effect sell all the way through. And I'm super happy that he explained it down in the comments because it looks like he was able to take a video Video from the perspective of that frame so if you can imagine like if the frames over here it's gonna be dragged over here he actually takes the camera instead of filming him from this side over here to just get the perspective of the frame he didn't really have to make it super clean and perfect but once he had that frame already tracked in that image in there he could just use that same data and invert it to be able to use with that other footage and just change the opacity and all of a sudden you get this really nice faux reflections on this frame which probably does not even have anything on it so it's really smart really creative and i just love the awesome planning of it came together really nicely i hope to see a lot more of your work if you got any other cool like zach king-esque effects okay so this one has a little bit of a backstory because it was posted by Sir Court Godfrey, and he says he's been in an almost a year long creative rut, and this is the last thing that he felt proud enough to share. So let's go ahead and watch it, because now this is a really simple effect. I know I've talked about uh, masking out things, but I want you guys to take a notice at how he's not just masking himself out <laughs> and then animating uh, like the legs moving apart and the head moving apart, but instead it's actually uh, a bit of a choreographed piece in that he's even having to mask this out, but then uh, walk away and then even knowing that he's going to be masking out the top and the bottom so he probably would have had to walk in two different directions so there's a little bit of directorial prowess i love how the top comment on this one was that i could see this making a great clothing advertisement because that is something i could see <laughs> Shoot, he kind of rocks into place with his legs there, dude. Yeah, super sick, super creative. For anyone else who feels like they're in a creative rut, honestly, just go easy on yourself because I'm sure that you guys are gonna be able to come out with something super dope whenever you're able to hop back into it, so. Next up, we have one from Mitosis Meosis, and it is this really cute, cool Pokemon animation, which he starts off by saying he just felt compelled to rig up a, a Mudkip. If you guys don't know what rigging means, it's pretty much the process in character animation, or uh, shoot, you can actually do it for other kinds of animations as well, but it, it's a process in which you add different points or joints or create a character that can be animated in different ways so this one is a, a pretty subtle rig but i think it works for its usage and the timeline of it <laughs> mitosis meosis it looks like he used the plugin joysticks and sliders and do it basil 2 which joysticks and sliders is one that is paid you guys can find it on ae scripts but do it basil is actually a free one that gives you a whole lot of really cool animation tools and rigging tools i wonder how much of this was done in joysticks and sliders and how much was do it basil but yeah either way it came out really dope <laughs> 
This one actually reminds me of the other Pokemon one that I animated that's on the channel for one of the playlists actually but in that one we animated just the Pokeballs opening and closing and maybe like a little bit of water and uh, fire effects whereas this one is the actual Pokemon being animated so I thought that was really cool. Really cute as well. The faux 3D with the head turning is just really clean and cool and the mouth opening. Uh, something about an animation that makes you smile that I just think is, is one that was uh, successfully done <laughs> so... Huge props to Mitosis Meiosis. Love your work. Hope to see more. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have another one from eMoney who I've talked about before on the channel because eMoney, she has just been coming up with so many super cool techniques and this one is just definitely right up there. It's actually pretty cool because it's a lyric <laughs> video and Gabe, Gabe, what's up? You wanna say hi to everyone? Come on. All right. We got little Gabe, Gabe. Do you wanna be on the video? No? All right, all right. Anyways, yes. So this one is really cool because it's a lyric video for Ty Dolla Sign, Kanye West, FK Twigs, and Skrillex, which is just like a super stacked roster. <laughs> one of the things I love too is just how trippy the visuals are. I think I have a soft spot for trippy visuals. I used to make music videos all the time and just would try and come up with as many cool things that I could and just uh, having fun with it. So this uh, video looks like she definitely had a whole lot of fun. And it's really cool because on top of just the simple text animating on and off, we have these really nice like 2D animation effects that are just being complemented with After Effects. This is so cool. All these transitions are really nice. I wonder if even like this was animated in After Effects or how much of this is hand drawn, how much of this is even like rigged up. Now I'm noticing a lot of these things look like the animations could have just been duplicated and then uh, maybe using something like a turbulence displace with, uh, how is she getting those colors, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I've got to look and see if there's any uh, tutorial. Oh, sh she shows the pre-production side. Promise one on the post-production side, so stay tuned. Oh, sh okay, yeah, so she even has a video out on how the pre-production of this came out. Oh, shoot, it actually looks like there was a, a whole team that, of animators that worked on this, and she uh, directed it as well. Wow, this is just super sick work. Definitely go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested. I know for sure I thought this was one of the sickest lyric videos that I had seen in a while. So huge, huge props to E-Money and the rest of her team who made this. Okay, so next up is not necessarily a technique, I, I guess, or like a cool technique. Huge thanks for Envato for sponsoring. You guys have been uh, some of the best resources that I've seen out there for creatives when it comes to things, not just from After Effects templates, but even stock footage and audio and websites and fonts. Just yeah, the, the list goes on and on. You guys are gonna wanna check out Envato. They were super generous to give me a special link. So every time that you guys actually sign up with Envato Elements, you guys are gonna be helping support Black Mixture as well so super cool check it out when you get the chance links in the description okay so that is it hopefully you guys were able to find some inspiration from some of these techniques from some of the dopest artists now as always i'm sure that you guys are like nate why didn't you talk about this one or yo nate i got a super cool effect i think other people should see it leave a comment down below of course i still read it or send us a DM. You guys got options. Thanks again for you guys watching. Now I know uh, maybe about like 10% of you are subscribed. Honestly, the channel exists thanks to you guys. And for the other 90% of you who are watching and have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's such an honor to have such a super creative community to get to share all kinds of cool techniques. Thanks a lot to you guys for engaging, leaving super dope comments, and just really pushing everything forward. As always, hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.